Uh, what's your favorite song from the album? Um, uh, my, my, um, it's it's a song called "Simpatico" right now that is basically uh, the closest we'll ever have to a James Bond theme from the <gasps> '60s. Oh God, that's kind of how I would Can describe you it. Do it tonight. We are doing it tonight. Yeah. And I would describe it when I would describe it to the Butch, the, uh, the band and Butch. I would say like, think. 1960s James Bond opening surreal credits. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not so, yeah. <laughs> just like, different. yeah, a little different than that. <laughs> uh, Nikki, are you going to be doing some more singing on this album? Because I remember when and I Butch first. Butch did a Bond song. Yeah. Oh, he did. That's right. That's not enough. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, circadian rhythm. I mean, like, I was like, <gasps> I do do a lot of singing like, on the album. A lot of singing with Brian yeah. with him? together. Yeah. Like doing harmonies with him. Yeah, well, yeah, you guys are fantastic. You're guys. more interwoven in this one more yeah. throughout, throughout, you know? I'm mm-hmm. interwoven. You're interwoven. Is that a word? Yeah. Yeah. So. You did it, Brian. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your parents, kids. But Ask it your parents nice, that word. You know, Butch is very good at, you know, giving because I'm sometimes quiet or just like I'm not, you know, what? outspoken when it comes to <laughs> I want to do this part or let's do this yeah. part. But he was just like, let's try everything. And, you know, it's yeah. like the willingness of that he had to just give everything a shot was, yeah. you know, made us all want to give more. I think. I'm so excited is, for is Friday. Will, is willingness a word? Yes, it is. Oh, you did Brian, it. I don't know. Brian, Ask your parents, kids. Uh, Brian, or, I, we have a dictionary somewhere. If uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... You know what I mean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it is a word. <laughs> that you can have that bell, sir, mm-hmm. because every time somebody comes in here yeah. and does an interview for a PSA show, they're like, oh... Like, oh, no, you don't need that. Man. This is about, like, a fundraiser. You don't need me, this. Me, me. Yeah. <laughs> I thought my, like, oh. lunch was ready. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have granola bars for you. That's no, it? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Negative bell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as far as other music, though, what are you guys listening to? Like, that's not your own work. Um, It's Raining Tacos. Go that's on. That. It's a kid song. Oh, oh well, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Last time I saw you, you had just had kids. Right. Yeah. yeah or a right. little little boy? A little girl? I have twin girls. Oy. They're six and a half now. Has it been that My long? My time flown. Yes. They're graduating kindergarten. <sighs> and you oh, know, they gra- it, everything has a graduation now. I know. Yeah. My <laughs> nephews are graduating <laughs> first grading, preschool, and then they're going to graduate yeah, I miss, fourth grade. I miss their preschool graduation. Oh, so oh they'll never first. let you forget that. <laughs> no. Never, I mean, a, <laughs> I remember my preschool graduation. It's it was the biggest rager. day it of their a, life. I believe our preschool graduation party was at the W yeah. Hotel. <laughs> it was so insane. <laughs> it's weird when you see your preschools getting, <laughs> teachers getting yeah. a little wasted. Well, mine did at the high school yeah. graduation. Well, uh, we don't talk about that. I do. Edit. <laughs> uh, so I mean, like uh, "Raining Tacos." What is that from? Yeah, what is that from? What, what classic um, album is that from? It says it's raining tacos all over the sky. Oof. Tacos. No yeah. need to ask why. That's great. That's great. Just open your mouth and close hey, hey, your eyes. Hey, don't have the rights for this. <laughs> it's raining tacos. <laughs> I would love to hear this song, and I am going to absolutely yeah. go on YouTube to find this thing immediately. And well, let's make all the radio listen. <laughs> let's make them all listen to it. Hey Alexa, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> play "It's Raining Tacos." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paying for that. My kid, that makes me happy because my my son's four and he only listens to the knife. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like he, I just listen to that all the time, which I love the knife. But now I'm starting to go like, oh, <laughs> holy moly. Well, maybe introduce them to it's raining tacos. Yeah, that sounds mm-hmm. like it, it. And I'm listening to soundtracks a lot because my friend Mike and I started it all movie score. DJ thing in LA yeah? that Butch actually was our first guest on. Yeah, it's super fun. We're doing it here at, before the shows too. Awesome. Yeah. So I've just been yes. I've just been in like a weird soundscape, strange beep 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 boop, 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 world. Beepy boopy world. Yeah. yeah. The beepy boopies. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, like when I hear one. normal songs, I'm like, what is this? Oh yeah. <laughs> like, well, I mean, it's you know, you're you're listening to soundtracks a lot when you could actually figure out like, oh, this is uh John Williams. This is uh, uh yeah. Last night was particular in um. Fresno, it was fun because I could, uh, Micah was really handling a lot of that and you could hear, what's fun about it is a lot of it sounds just like trippy music, but mm-hmm. sometimes people recognize things that they don't understand why. <laughs> so back and then the all of a sudden you'll hear someone go, Lost Boys! <laughs> you know, just freak out, Tron! Oh, well, Tron does have yeah. one of the best beepy boopy soundtracks. Oh, yeah, both. Both of them Tron do. Wendy and, Carlos and Daft Punk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Both insane, same. yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that's some good stuff. Poltergeist yeah. brings back a memory. I put a little, uh, <laughs> such I, happy memories. I will mix the poltergeist in there, but those are like a little like swishies. Isn't it weird that poltergeist was kind of like set up like a a, a quirky, whimsical movie, and it's it about oh well. Mm-hmm. What I we I don't re- think you saw it. <laughs> we re- I rewatched it just recently, and it's like it's kind of like cute in a way. Oh, like, it's Spielbergy, yeah, it's PG. Yeah, it's like oh, I'm waiting for ET to pop in, but mm-hmm. they're like oh no, wait, there's this terrible <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah, it's in actually the home. yeah, it's very. I mean, I guess Stranger Things is the best thing you right. can kind of compare it to. Yeah, so, honestly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, back then they used to sort of make movies that. People could handle those kind of shifts. I know. And now it's like. <laughs> no, it's like one or the other. <laughs> it's like, no, no, thank you. I'm going to yeah. go now. Well, was, I think it was designed to make little kids completely yeah. terrified. Like anything you could think of that a little kid would be scared of that movie. <laughs> I loved that movie. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. So weird. <laughs> so Universal, in Los Angeles, Universal Studios does these horror night mm-hmm. things, which we don't go to too often. But this last time we went and it, it was frustrating because uh, we wanted to stay in the poltergeist house. There's a poltergeist oh, maze. Yeah. And we were so amazed because the art and the direction and everything in how they designed the maze was so spot on perfect. Like the outside was the house and yeah. everything that we wanted to like look around, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, like, oh sit, my God, that happened con- there. Yeah, we wanted to look around, but they push you through it. But we're like trying to like, go, no, no, let's <laughs> stay here. This is where the guy's <laughs> taking his face off. This is so crazy. It's so amazing. <laughs> Same with the Stranger Things thing. Yeah. I mean, that's straight. They added Stranger Things in the past couple years. That thing is also amazing. Yeah, you I haven't want, been. You want to just like kick everybody out and just wander yourself. Oh my God. Too bad they can't let you like walk in a room and then. There's a mirror that flips you upside down. There, of there is like a num- <laughs> there's a numbness that happens. Like the first Demogorgon jumps at you, and you're like, "Oh, that's something." And then by the eighth one, you're just like, you're "Okay, like, I'm yeah, done. okay." I'm done. Uh, no, you're just like, "All right, all right, all right, all right." <laughs> like I get it. It's scary. Yeah, I know. I know. I get it. Children are much braver than I am. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys ever thinking? You think you'd ever want to contribute to like a, a soundtrack or work on a, a film? We did. We just worked on a movie called Under the Silver Lake that came out. Oh. And this guy, uh, this awesome director, David Robert Mitchell. We were really big fans of his previous movies. It follows, yeah. and uh, the myth of the American sleepover. And for one reason or another, he got. I think he heard that we were big fans of his, and then asked us to contribute to a part of this really, <laughs> really bonkers movie called mm-hmm. "And This." So, like, it's, it's pretty radical. And yeah, we we kind of are the voice of a fake band, and we're in the backing <laughs> shots. Right? So if I yeah. say that I'm a big fan of you guys, and I decided to make a, a really a strange movie, can mm-hmm. I just get you guys to just be in the... Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it depends. Yeah. I, I want you to play mannequins. Actually. Oh, for all, well, which one? I want you to be, actually be characters. Well, like Kim, you mean like Kim Cattrall? Yes. Ask your parents. Yes, kids. I know. Yeah. I know Danny gets mad at me for always making those references, by <sighs> the way. And he's like, you're... you're they're, they're, Mannequin they're, references? Not not man Maybe. not man. Okay. We're not. We're talking about mannequin. Not Anything not mannequin. Under- uh, we're not talking about mannequin two on the move. Oh. Right. <laughs> we're talking about mannequin. Mannequin with Kim Cattrall. That's not that right. second one. That second one is garbage. That's the first right. one is the pristine. first one is like golden. <laughs> yeah. Man, the first one is beautiful <laughs> cinema. <laughs> For this upcoming tour, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I I know that you guys are just kind of starting off just to like kick things into gear so what is going to be happening tour wise this year and lots of things are falling into place so um we will be sporadically all over the place for a little while before mm-hmm. we can kind of coalesce and do a full blown beginning to end tour so that won't happen for a while but yeah but you'll be hearing us pop in and out of things okay because i need you guys to come back to town Aww. again okay, we'll <laughs> you want that buddy no. Oh, let you have please, it. No, don't. Let yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, please, God, no. No, because a bell, a bell is a lot of responsibility, and it I, is. I, and if you play with it, you got to let it go, so other people can play with it. So oh no. I'm having my time with it, oh. and then it'll be my turn. And then <laughs> yes, it'll be your let, turn. You'll oh. get the one, and they'll be like, all right, I'm done. And then I will let Tommy York or Win Butler, whoever's coming in next, play with it. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> you asked your children, like, if your children were like 10 years old, and you're like, you know who Tom York is? Uh, yeah, my nephews do, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they YouTube all that stuff. I feel like I've met a lot of young people, and I love you young people. I'm your mother. I know. I'm your mama, but... Yeah, I guess it depends on the house they're in. Yeah. And the I guess they so. Have. Like, we were, I was just talking to a friend today about, like, how I knew who Prince was when I was, like, three years old. Oh, yeah, You know, course. like, yeah, it's Me Prince. Too, yeah. He's the most beautiful man on the planet. Mm-hmm. And, like, not knowing who Howard Stern was. When oh, I was a kid, well, so it's weird, uh, right? A lot of I think a they lot. Know of we have the book at home. Kids know Howard Stern is best Stern book. Yeah, yeah. the new one. 
and uh, it came out a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. The um... so that I always turn the book over after. I'm like, who's that? And they're like, Beth. Yeah. And Howard. <laughs> and I always tell them, yeah, Nico is my son. Nico Howard had to step over him because we were doing the wrap up show, yeah. and every time we're at Sirius in New York, it's like. It's always at a time where Howard walks out, yeah. and he's so tall, and he, my son was little, and he's running around, and he just sees this really tall guy going, whoa. He's, he's like, a very gangly man. Yeah, he's yeah. cool. Yeah, respect to Howard. Everybody, you got to love Massive Howard Stern. respect to Howard Stern. Yeah, well, uh, I, I just want you to know Howard Stern's not here, but you have a Robin here. Oh. Oh, cute. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and we love you guys, and uh, nice. we're excited for you guys Thank tonight. You. And I'm so stoked it sold out. I told you all that it was going to sell out. Yeah. And you didn't listen. <clears throat> Don't point at us. <laughs> I'm pointing at, at the, the the nothing. What are you guys? <laughs> you guys just got pointed at. No. Oh. She gets uh, it a lot, though. You know? Oh, that's tough. Actually, last time you guys were in oh, town hey, for watch out for that playing, point. you were pointing at me. Yes. And you were yelling at me. That's right. So, and what was I saying? Uh, you were uh, scolding me for not being in the studio for an in-studio performance that uh, Danny Spanks forgot to tell me had started. That's and right. that's when we had the mommy-daddy fight. Yeah, uh, and we're here to clear that up. How did that all land? Oh, we still like each other. Oh, good. Yeah. That's what I, th- I saw. I that. still work here. I saw that in your eyes. Yeah, it's like, I might still work here. I saw it. Sometimes it takes some other, a person that, you know, a different point of view to come in and shake things yeah. up. Then you, guys, like, you guys seem better than ever. That's right. We are stronger than ever. He was talking mad smack about you outside, I'll tell you. I talk mad smack about him all I'll the time. What's, what's, uh-huh. what's the thing you don't like about him the most? Oh, the thing I don't like about him the most? His yeah. generosity with animals. Yeah, it's gross. Oh, uh, gross. Oh, his, his, gross. his Enough willingness already. To, to help animals. The animals are like, well, that could, sounds really nice. The, anim- <laughs> the animals are like, well, we can do it on our own, man. Jeez. Yeah, they're like, we don't need your help. We're not capable of this? Stop giving us hot dogs, weird guy. Oh, actually, do stop giving yeah, them hot dogs. Yeah. Well, Danny, I just called you out on that. He's trying to kill the animals. <laughs> tell him that tonight. Are you? All right. I'll tell him that right now. <laughs> we'll tell him when we leave. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Stop feeding hot dogs to animals. We did feed marshmallows to alligators once. Were you part of that? Is that a thing you can do? I guess so. In did like you put the, them on the teeth? Like, no, ah, these ah, little bio, the bio tour. Bio. These bio tours. Bio. <laughs> Sounds like bio a Bio tours in movie. Louisiana. Yeah, bio tour. <laughs> Ask your parents. Yeah. <laughs> Polly Shore. <laughs> oh, we got to end on Polly Shore. Yeah, we got to end on Polly Shore. I love you guys, I Brian you and too. Nick. We Thank, you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for coming Thank in. You. I demanded this, and I'm glad it got my way. Oh. Spoiled baby got her too. way. That's right. Ding. <laughs> Uh, go check out Silver Sun Pickups. You have the tickets tonight. And of course, Widow's Weeds comes out on Friday. Pick yep. it up. Yay. Get it. Physical. Digital. Thanks. Buy it. Buy it. Or you can just uh, go to our MySpace page. It's been on there for months. Damn. <laughs> and no one's found it. Ask your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Doesn't matter what